Here we have a Pentair Superflow variable speed pump and it's currently installed on inch and a half plumbing. That's how it's set up to run. The, uh, the three ways open but the, uh, the red handle or the orange handled valve there is closed on the two inch line so it's only operating on the inch and a half line. It's got the inch and a half uh, nipples on both the inlet and the discharge and then we're isolating the two inch so that only the inch and a half line is live here. And I just want to see how much water this pump can move under these conditions. So let's go ahead and crank her up. So we're going to go up to 3,450 RPM. That's maximum RPM. Takes a moment to ramp up. Let's watch the power consumption as it does. On this particular installation, it draws just about 10 amps under maximum flow conditions like this. So let's take a look at the flow rate for that. So the way you read that instrumentation gauge is from the very top of the floating cylinder. And in this case, it looks like it's getting just over 80 gallons per minute. The amount of flow that you would experience on your swimming pool will be different than this. This is a dynamic equation and every swimming pool is different and there's a lot of factors that come into play that will determine the actual flow rate that you will realize. This is simply an, an example such that you can have a better understanding of what you might be able to expect. And this will also allow me to examine some differences. For example, I'll make a future video where this same installation is running just like this, except it will be all two inch instead of inch and a half. And we can see how much, if anything, changes under those conditions. But under these particular conditions, running on a single inch and a half suction line, in a single inch and a half return line, a system which would have very little resistance to flow, and we're able to achieve over 80 gallons per minute, approximately 82 gallons per minute under those conditions. And during that time, that maximum operating uh, range, it was doing exactly 10 amps. I've seen that number go up and down though for that same, uh, same RPM, but that should just give you an example to work with. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.